How are you lovely today? It is K-Star Moon Life After. And I hope you all are having a great day or will have a great day. And for those of you who are traveling for the holidays, may you have a safe trip, um, a blessed trip. Y'all try not to spend too much money out there for the holidays. But we are coming close to an end and starting a new decade for 2020. Um, and before I start off, I would just like to say um, thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it and for commenting and sharing. Um, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and comment and share as well. It's very much appreciated. And this message, what message that I'm going to have... Uh, read for today is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising, and in Venus. Okay, so this is for Scorpio. And however the cards, cards fall, it falls. You know, if it's about love, it's about love. You know, if it's a mixture of everything, that's exactly what, you know, I'm going to tell you what I see in the cards, okay? Um, and if it doesn't apply, let it fly. And if it resonates, stick and stay and listen to what the divine has for you. So if this message does not resonate to you, Scorpio, water sign, please do not try to make it resonate. Everyone's life dynamics is different, okay? And there are some other YouTuber, uh, other YouTubers, other tarot readers that are online that could possibly have your message. So we're going to start off with the guidance, um, Goddess Guidance Oracle Deck, okay, by Doreen Virtue. And I'm going to pull three cards, and let's just get a gist of um, where some of you Scorpios are at you know at the end of this year you know what's what's going on with you okay scorpio i'm gonna shuffle the deck two more times one two and then i'm gonna pull from it okay so you have here your mind i always you know what i could never say this word yamania i think i'm saying it right golden opportunity Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Hmm. Okay. Then we have Athena. Inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Okay, Scorpio. I feel you. Then you have Coventina. Purification. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. So basically, Scorpio, what I am seeing from these three cards here is that some of you, let's start with this golden opportunity. Some of you doors are opening up for you. Um, starting your own business, it could even be with relationships. I feel like, um, Scorpio, that some of you are on your high priestess mode. You have water here, okay? So I'm figuring, I am feeling like, yes, that some of you are going to start uh, doing spiritual work. The doors that are opening up for you right now, just walk through them. Um, I'm also getting a sense that some of you right now may have, you may be in a situation where there's a job that you just that you don't like, but if they're offering you certain things like more hours or let's say like taking a lead position or whatever, even though you don't want to do it, go ahead on and do it, Scorpio. Spirit is telling me to tell you this, to just go ahead on and do it. You have water here. So water, I mean, th this is a good thing. Water nurtures nurtures everything, and you are a water sign. Follow your intuition with, with what you're walking through right now. I'm looking at this like, a, like this is going to be a rebirth for you, Scorpio, with everything. I feel like everything is just going to turn around for you. It's a rebirth. It's a realization on... Things that are going on um, with you and that has happened to you even this year and the year before. Don't be afraid to walk through these doors, Scorpio. Look at here how she's, I think she's even, uh, she appears like she's a mermaid. She doesn't have on any, any, you know, she doesn't have on any attire. So it's like she's basically just trusting the universe. Then you have dolphins here. Which someone can look that up because I know this dolphin is significant to this. But this is all you water sign Scorpio. You're going to flourish. 
Okay, and with that, you have Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So basically, look at her face. Okay, some of you are going to have to make decisions about certain things that you don't want to make decisions on. But you're going to have to do that in order for you to get to this golden opportunity. This is why you have the, um, the purification card here too. Coventina, the goddess Coventina. And look, there's water there again. You're going to have to trust your inner wisdom on Scorpio. Don't lean up on anybody else understanding but what the intuition that God is giving you. This is what I'm hearing. Look, the wisdom, the, the owl. You have the moon back there. Trust what the universe and what the divine is telling you. And last but not least, we have Coventina purification. It's time for a cleansing, detox, the detoxification of your body and mind. And yes, that's why I say this set up here, these three goddesses, to me, this is like a, um, sorry. To me, this is like a rebirth. So some of you need to really take a, uh, to, to try to do a fast. If you could do a fast for a day, some of you really five days. If you could do it to the full moon, which I know that that's a lot. That's a lot of training. The full moon in Capricorn and Cancer is June, is January the 10th. Okay, it's the wolf moon. Okay. Look at, look at how you have the cup here. So you're going to flourish with this purification um just trust yourself this is this is your rebirth in everything relationships um finances let me see we're gonna pull a couple of cards here uh, i'm gonna use the gilded tarot scorpio and let's see what it's saying here this is your rebirth, Scorpio. Okay? Trust yourself. Trust yourself. It's just so funny because I was even thinking to myself too and I've talked to other people who are in the spiritual work of feeling the need to detox. And some of you who may have a problem with fasting, um, if you cannot fast and you find a challenge with that, just take it one day at a time of eating less. I'm hearing like drink more water. Some of you may be so addicted to sodas. You know, drink more water. If you cannot go without a day without, you know, fasting, just eat less or try to eat healthier. Like a piece of fruit, some nuts, you know, and just detoxify yourself before the year is out. I'm even hearing too, now that I look at this card on here, a spiritual bath. Go and get you some Florida water, some Epsom salt, and some essential oils, and just totally submerge yourself, okay, into a spiritual bath. We're going to see what else the universe has to say. Oh, my God, Scorpio, all these cards fell out. Hold on. That is too many cards. I'm going to have to shuffle this again, y'all. Bear with me. I think Scorpio got a lot they want to say. This is your rebirth. And like I said, I don't know. Um, it may come out to be relationship-wise with this reading or whatever. But I'm just going to flow with it, okay? I'm going to shuffle your deck. Two more times. One. Two. Okay, the Ace of Wands, that's good. New beginnings and passion. So you got this golden opportunity here. You got Ace of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Temperance card, okay? So you could be dealing with fire signs, and you even got an earth sign here. Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Four of Cups here in reverse. And the Hangman. Okay. The Two of Wands here in reverse. Okay, so basically here's the thing. You got the Two of Wands here in reverse as your undertone. Okay. Okay. 
and you got the judgment in reverse as your top card. Basically, what I am seeing here, let's start off at the top. Ace of Wands, Seven of um, I'm sorry, Ace of Wands, yes, Seven of Wands in reverse, um, the King of Pentacles, and the Temperance card. Some of you have, um, what I am feeling is that you have been patient with whatever situation that you are dealing with and you're releasing yourself from, um, I'm hearing like you don't want to have to explain yourself anymore with anything that you are dealing with. Um, this Ace of Wands here is like a new beginning in life. A new beginning in flow. Life is flow. Flow is life. A new beginning in finances. You're not going to fight for anyone's attention anymore. You're going to just go ahead on and go after whatever it is that you want in life. This is what I'm hearing. Um, some of you are changing your perspective on how you are viewing things in life as well. I also feel here with this King of Pentacles here in this Temperance card here that some of you, when it's regarding love, you are going to put your guard down. You're going to be more open to receiving someone. Some of you could have been, you know, really guarded as when it comes down to love and relationships because of things that may have happened to you in the past. But... You are going to move forward with this in this love situation. This could possibly be a um an earth sign. Someone is, I feel like someone that you are in a relationship with, um, they are they are aware of what you have been through in the past. Look at how he is looking at you. See how you the King of Pentacles here is looking at the temperance. Then you have the seven of swords here. I'm sorry, seven of wands here in reverse. This person, they want you to put the, your guard down. And they're being really patient with you. But you're healing at this time. And the balance is going to come through. This is going to flow. This individual has passion towards you, Scorpio. I'm hearing that this new love is going to be is something that you're not that you have never really experienced before. You're not accustomed to someone um who who is as attentive to you like they are. You're not accustomed to that. And I'm also feeling too that as far as career wise, just be patient. Be patient because whatever, some of you may have possibly filled out applications or whatever. Be patient. That is going to come through for you. Some of you may be waiting for a, a, either a new job or a certain position in your job. And it's so funny because I said, I think I said that in the beginning. I'm not too sure if I did. Or maybe that was another reading I'm thinking about. And then you have here that some of you have a decision that you need to make. Okay, some of you have a decision that you need to make. You have the two of swords here, okay, the nine of swords. Some of you have a decision that you need to make, like you need to walk away from something, okay? And this is where you have here this inner wisdom come in at. I mean, because look at this. You know if you walk away from whatever this is, it's not going to keep you up at night and it's not going to be in your on your mind. However... Some of you are contemplating, is this is something that I really should do? If it is keeping you up at night and it's involving your mental state and it's disturbing it, yes, this is something that you may possibly need to walk away from. Okay? And then you have here the four um, cups here in reverse and the hangman. So some of you are at a standstill. Some of you are at a standstill. You're very indecisive on what you want to do as far as relationships. Even as far as career-wise, take the opportunity when that door when that door opens. Take the opportunity. If you if you are on this job and like I said, and they're offering you something, more hours or whatever, just take it for right now. Even though you don't want to do it, take it, Scorpio. 
Let me see if there's anything else that I see here. Even with this purification here, it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Yes, this is with the temperance. I'm hearing be patient with yourself. Trust your decision on what you're going to make with this. Okay? Trust your decision. Go ahead on and embark on your new journey. Okay? Let me see if there's any more messages that the divine has for you. Let me see. Hold on, Scorpio. What other message you have here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? Oh my God, Scorpio is just like some of you, this energy is like very hesitant. Scorpio, trust yourself. Trust yourself. It's even hard for me to even shuffle this deck. Listen, as I split the deck, look look what I have here. The Ace of, I don't know if y'all can see this, this Ace of Pentacles and the Star card in reverse. Listen, some of you may feel like you're not worthy to have what you want. You are. Star card here in reverse. This is, you need to heal. You are. That past trauma, whatever that has happened to you, you are worth this. Know this. This is a divine hand that's trying to give it to you, but you must ground yourself. You must ground yourself. This King of Pentacles here, some of you are afraid of the cup that he's giving you. But he's going to be patient. He is going to be patient with you. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm telling you. Look at this. The Sun card. Whatever you feel that injustice was done to you is going to become clarity to you okay so whatever message here do you have for scorpio sun moon and rising oh my god jeez Three of Pentacles, okay, let me see, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. Scorpio, do not be afraid to teamwork with people. Um, This Ace of Swords could possibly be some of you venturing out in entrepreneurship, but you need to have teamwork to help you out with this. Don't be afraid of this, okay? Don't um. How should I how, how should I say this? Some of you at this point could be so focused on what it is that you're trying to accomplish that you're turning your back on your home as well. This could possibly be that King of Pentacles here. That's here. It's like you're not paying attention to it. You are spending a lot of time on this project. But you have someone here who wants to give you the Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like you are afraid to give them your cup. You are afraid to do this. And this is why you have a temperance card here going to come from a lot of healing and I feel like eventually you will open up to this person okay so with that being said I am K Star Moon Life After like share comment down below Scorpio open up to your rebirth and remember every ending is a beautiful beginning hit the notification bell so that every time I post a video you are notified and I will see you guys next time